everyone. My name is Anessa Red Austin and welcome to the channel. I am an indie author from Toronto, Canada, and I write under the pen name of Anne Sage. I mostly work in fantasy, sci-fi, and paranormal mystery. Um, currently, as I'm recording this, I have 10 books published with one more on the way, uh, most of which are in fiction. Um, I am in the middle of a very long dynamic series, so it's going to be about 10 books in total, I think. And um, I have just sent off book four to beta readers, which is very exciting. Um, I was going back and forth about starting a YouTube channel, mostly because I already had one before, um, but that one was about planners and stationery and all that stuff. Um, if you don't know, I used to run a stationery shop, so I was really into all of that stuff. Still am very much obsessed with it. I have way too many pens. Um, but uh, as kind of career went on and things changed, I turned more to writing and that became my full-time job as it is now. Um, and usually um, in my previous jobs, um, I was a manager and director of creative teams. So I was behind the scenes. I was always behind the camera, kind of telling people what to do and seeing all these like really amazing people get in front and talk about what they wanted to do and pose for images and, and photograph so well. And I just was always nervous about being in front of the camera. Even when I had my YouTube channel here before, um, it was tabletop only with just a few videos of me being face forward. Um, so I was very, very nervous about it. Um, but um, this week I kind of got some great news and one of my books was an honorable mention in the Writer's Digest um, competition this year. And I think um, with all the books done and that and, and the readers and their response to my writing, um, I kind of decided to give it a go. It gave me almost like a boost in confidence. So hopefully it works out. We'll see. Um, it's just a channel. So this is my life. Um, basically, if you're new here, uh, which I'm assuming you are, we'll do kind of behind the scenes looks, um, things I like to do, um, tools that are important for me, um, how I write, a few tips for writing if you're thinking of starting out. Um, what indie publishing was like for me and just my general journey and everything I like. And uh, obviously there will be a lot of planners because like I said, obsessed. Um, so to get it started, I thought with NaNoWriMo coming really soon, I mean, it's next week and I, I, I can't believe it's next week. I'm so unprepared, but I will be plotting most of the week next week. So I thought I would do kind of a behind the scenes vlog of what that looks like for me. Um, I am not a pantser. I'm a huge control freak. I mean, it's obnoxious, <laughs> but I, I do plan everything out to the detail. Um, I have tried to pants before, uh, but that was for my first book when I was 12 years old. As you could imagine, it was crap. <laughs> not only because I was 12 and didn't know what I was doing, but uh, just because I had no idea where the story was going, I just kind of blurted everything out. And I mean, Pile of garbage is a good way to describe it, but you live, you learn. Um, so since then, everything I've done, I, I do have to plan everything out strategically. So I thought I would show you guys that next week. And then this week, to start it all off, I figured why not talk to you about some of my favorite tools for writing, um, things I can't do without. Um, there's, there's a lot more than what I'm gonna cover in this video, but I thought it would be a really good start to get that going. So with that said, I'm gonna get this mug out of your face and I'm gonna turn you around and we will do, yay, a tabletop. Um, and I'll just kind of walk you through some of my favorite things. So stick around, I hope you like them and thanks for coming by. All right, folks, welcome back to this side of the table. Welcome to my favorite view where my stupid face is not in the way. Um, I swear, I just on a side note before I get into this, today was probably the first time I put on like proper makeup in, I didn't know how long because of this whole pandemic we're in. I'm just like trapped at home like a little monkey. Um, but I started putting it on and I was like genuinely confused about some of the things that I used to throw on my face. Like, why are there so many brushes? <laughs> why can't I just use my fingers? It was a disaster. Anyways, hopefully it turned out and I don't look like a clown, but who knows at this point, it is what it is. At least I tried. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I said I was going to share some of my favorite tools. 
Um, and this is probably my most favorite tool to use when I'm writing. Um, in case you're wondering what it is, um, it's a digital typewriter. And uh, yes, I am old enough to have been around when these were actually used in schools to teach kids how to use like computers and educational learning and stuff because um, I'm hella old. Uh, but yeah, so this is the AlphaSmart Neo 2. Um, and I did take it apart and paint it um, in this like baby pink because I love me some baby pink. But, um, and it like, it wasn't that hard. I mean, if you have the original one of these and you want to do it, it's a lot easier because you just kind of like unscrew the back and it all comes apart. But with this one, it was a bit tougher because I had to take like everything out and I had to take apart the actual little computer that's inside and all the wiring. And I was like shaking the whole time and like drinking 27 coffees because I was afraid it wasn't going to turn on again. But these guys are so durable, like literally I could like bang it around and it will still be fine. Well, hopefully it's fine because I'm going to turn it on in a second to show you guys. So <laughs> hopefully I didn't just break it. But what the purpose of this is, um, if you haven't used one of these before, is it's basically for writers uninterrupted writing time. There is nothing on the screen except what you're writing. It's so tiny, so it's impossible to go back and double check yourself and edit. It's just literally you sit down and you write and it's perfect for sprints. Um, I've had this for a while and I haven't used it. And then ever since I've kind of started writing full time, I find myself like always juggling other things and checking Facebook and going into like my Facebook circle with the group that I have and chatting with people there. And it's, it, it's always something. So um, I thought, okay, let me get off my laptop. And I do still use my MacBook Pro to write um, and to design the covers and, and do everything else for the part of writing. But this is absolutely perfect. I find when I sit down, like I just kind of, even if I'm having like a block, as long as I said, like even if I just type blah, 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 like other words just start coming out of me. I don't know what it is about this like ancient looking weirdo thing, but it really works really well. So essentially the way that a, an alpha smart works and we're not going to do like a tutorial or anything because there's other stuff I want to show you but you turn it on and it and these batteries will last you like years I swear um, and so you have your different files so it's opening file one that I've written before and then you can start a new file which I've written because I just finished a draft sorry and you type this out you turn it back off no saving nothing and when you turn it back on again, it's gonna open up to the last file and what we just typed is there. When you're done, you just clear it, press yes, and you can start over and you can do eight files. Um, I think there's a workaround how you can do more than eight files, but I mean, I usually write three to four chapters every single day. So I just do a file a chapter and then I, once I upload, I clear them afterwards the next day once I'm done editing those chapters. Um, and then the way you upload it is you just literally plug it in, it's USB, plugs into your computer and doesn't matter what computer you have, you click send and see it's, there's nothing here now. Um, you click send and it will like kind of type out like the way you were typing, it will type it out in your computer. It's pretty cool to watch. It's like a little ghost typewriter. So anyways, yeah, that's tool number one, Alpha Smart. And I'll be linking like everything I talk about below so you guys can check it out. But if I forget something or there's something else that you see in between all this that you want to know or just want to know something else, just Message me in the comments and I'll get back to you. Okay, so that's two, one. Um, what are we gonna do next? I guess we'll do these. So um, if you're a writer or if you're working on the computer, you know how bad staring at the screen all day long can be. And that's literally like all we do and all I do. So I thought I'd try out these like blue screen glasses thing. And I mean, I've had LASIK done before, so I was pretty used to wearing glasses at in the first place, but I felt kind of stupid. Like I paid so much money to get LASIK done. And now here I am buying glasses again, but I gotta tell you guys, wearing these, I get so many less headaches. I'm usually very prone to headaches, but these guys have really helped out. Um, they're just like regular cheapy glasses. You can kind of see, I think, I'm not sure if it's catching that, but like on the, the reflection, there's like this weird pearlescent glow and that's the part, I don't, I don't know the technology part of this, the thingamajiggy that, um, that keeps your eyes from hurting when you're watching on the screen too much. It's something about like reflecting the blue lights and the blue grays of the screen to not penetrate into your eyes as much. Um, so yeah, 
These I got from Amazon. I think they were like 20 or $25 Canadian. So they're super cheap, free shipping if you have Prime. So I figured like, why not give them a shot? And I've since then bought a few different pairs already, um, just because I don't know why, because apparently I think money grows on trees. But yeah, anyway, so I do get like a few pairs of them, but I really like these things. They've been really, really helpful to me when I write. Um, the next thing I guess we'll do text first um, are headphones. Very, very useful. These are, I believe, yeah, they're friends headphones. I've had them for ages. I think I even bought them off Kijiji of someone um, because they were like so crazy expensive when they first came out. And I'm like, I'm not spending $300 on headphones. And someone was selling them for like 40 bucks or something. So I'm like, sold. Um, so they're, yeah, they're friends headphones. Um, they are great when you want to block out noise. They're not sound blocking headphones, but because of how like fluffy and big they are, I find just like putting them on, um, I actually like can't hear a lot of what's around. And this for me is very useful because like I do work from home and to write, like I need the silence. I'm not one of those people who can just like write in a crowded coffee shop I get distracted like I'm I'm literally like I'm, I'm a magpie I'm just like oh shiny things and I'm like on it <laughs> so I get very easily distracted and so like when my fiance comes home and it's like very late at night um, or I'm writing and he's doing other stuff or watching tv and I can hear it, it freaks me out so I have to put these on um, I put something on in the background uh, for me it's usually white noise I've always been very jealous of the people who can play music while they um, they write, like actually have like soundtracks and, and not get distracted by it. If you are one of those people, my hat's off to you because I can't do it. Like I have to have like some kind of white noise, like snow or wind, or I've tried rain for a while and that literally made me like want to get up and pee every five minutes and i'm not about that life so now we go with snow and wind um so yeah headphones another really great tool um and like something absolutely necessary for me when i'm writing um the next one here are of course these you'll see more of these next week in my plotting video but these are colored um Oh my God, what do you call them? Jesus. Sorry, guys, I have a, I'm not from this country. <laughs> English is my second language, I apologize. Sometimes I forget words. Sometimes the V's sound like W's. Um, uh, note cards, I don't know, they're cards. They're colorful cards. <laughs> so I use these when I'm plotting. Um, I use them for, I know a lot of people use them for plot points. I use them for point of views. I have multiple point of views. Um, in the current book that I'm writing, the current series, oh, something's happening outside that's loud, sorry. Um, in the current series I'm writing, um, and uh, there will be more being added as the series goes on. So I use these for every point of view, and I actually end up cutting them in half so they're like post-it sides because I don't need that much to space to write on. I can do double-sided if I need to, and that way they last longer. These are just from a dollar store, like Dollar Tree, I think, or something. Um, and then, uh, so usually what I'll write on them is kind of uh, like the action that's happening, why it's important, um, and what is happening because of it in the later parts or how it relates between the two points of view. So yeah, note cards, very important for me for when I am plotting. Um, so then we'll do, I guess we'll move into some notebooks and then we'll talk about my planner because you know I love some planners. Um, so I have... Uh, I have a lot of notebooks, I'm not gonna lie. I have notebooks I don't even use anymore. But right now, um, my main notebooks on my desk are these two. They all have to do with my writing. Oh, you can see here when I changed my pen name from Alexis and Sage to A and Sage. Um, I don't know if you guys, I don't think I, I, I don't really talk about it that much on social, but. I have published nonfiction books before, and that's why I kind of went with a pen name for my fiction work. Um, also, because my full name is really long and complicated. And uh, Sage is actually my fiance's last name. So it's going to be my last name. It's supposed to be my last name this year. But then, you know, COVID happened. So we're not getting married till next year, hopefully, if ever at this point. Um, so it will be my last name soon. So I figured um, I'll take on his last name early. And then the A-N is, uh, the A is for my dad's name's Alex. And the N is for my mom's name's Nina. 
So I thought that was kind of like a good throwback to both of them when I started getting more and more into fiction. Um, uh, but originally it was Alexis and Sage. And again, like really long is getting to be a mouthful. And I felt weird when people kept calling me by like the full Alexis because that's not really my name. So I always had to like explain like, by the way, my name's Nessa, it's a pen name. And it just got like complicated. So I shortened it. Um, and I don't, I mean, I don't hide that I write under a pen name. I just have like another couple of books that have been out before that are have nothing to do with fiction or, or what I write now. And so I didn't want to confuse the two. And then at some point, if I start doing more nonfiction work, I want to do it under my uh, actual and my maiden name. So it's it's good for me as a business sense to kind of keep those separate. So yeah, anyways, um, so I got these notebooks from um, Aaron Condren. Um, I do have a link below. It is an affiliate link. So if you haven't bought from them before, you're looking to buy some Aaron Condren stuff, you'll get some money off or percentage off and I'll get a bit of a kickback. Um, it's not, you know, I just, it's, it's good for everybody, I guess. When I first got my, the first purchase of Eric Contrin that I made, I was absolutely like baffled by how much everything can cost once you start like getting greedy with one you want in your card. Um, and I actually found some of these affiliates link and use their discount, so it helps. So hopefully that helps you. Um, so yeah, I just have these regular notebooks. Um, this one here, this is one of my book covers. You can customize the covers and they come off so you can get as many covers as you want and change them around. The same goes for the Erin Contra planners. Um, and in this one here, I mostly use it just like as a general like um, dumping board. Like I was doing like a few courses here and then I was plotting out like a planner I was designing. So this is for that and then this is more of like my business planner um and i kind of have like branding stuff i had some financials i don't really track my finances here anymore i kind of do everything online now um but there's like different ideas courses i want to take and just a, a general notebook um, for the business so those are two notebooks i use now and then the last thing um, is my planner. This is not the only planner I have. I have a gazillion planners. Don't ask me why, I just love them. <laughs> I love to plan. I like to have everything organized. I'm a control freak. It's a problem. But um, this is a um, Louis Vuitton planner cover. Um, however, inside, obviously not a Louis Vuitton planner. Um, I am currently in a Hobonichi cousin. Um, I got just the half year one because I wanted to test it out. Um, and I am in love with it. I absolutely love, love, love this planner. It has everything I need. Um, just a quick flip through. Um, it's got like a year overview. Um, it's got really good monthlies. So you can see like the month I'm on. Life gets busy. <laughs> has really good weeklies. Um, so you can plan everything out. They have a color coding system I use. And then you've got like your todays. And I, I do have like I my, do my spreads in here, my tarot spreads. Um, there's some like, there's a layout of how I was going to film the whole thing today. So that's what the today's for. Um, and just a couple of like, I think, blank pages somewhere in the back, uh, somewhere in there. Anyway, so this planner for me is like, it, it's life. Like everything is tracked here. Um, I track my promotions on here, uh, launch plans, like just at different social media things. So like, I absolutely need this in my life. I can't do without it. Like every morning I wake up, I check my planner, I check stuff off, I color code. Um, it's not time consuming once you're kind of in the habit and it really, really works for me. It helps me keep on top of stuff. Otherwise I'll just lie in bed, read books and watch Netflix all day. So yeah, planners, another really important tool if you're going to be a writer or an, entre an entrepreneur of any kind, very useful. And that was it. <laughs> Those are just some of the tools that I use pretty much every day. And they're so important to kind of he help keep me moving forward and they really make the writing thing easier. It can get a bit lonely and tough and you get stuck in your head. And some of these tools have really helped me kind of get the story out and figure out what I was doing and just tell the best story that I can tell. I think it's really important to find even the smallest things to lean on when you're doing this because it can be a very solitary profession and it can drive you nuts and living in so many different worlds and 
trying to describe them as best as possible. It's like waking up from a dream and forgetting it right away, but having like a little semblance of what it was at the tip of your tongue and you want to describe it, but you can't. And writing can really get like that sometimes, at least it can for me. So I hope that if you are starting out in writing or if you're already in it and just looking for some new things to try out, that some of this has helped you in some small way at least. Um, and if you have any questions about anything that I talked about or any questions at all, message me. Um, and I guess like the video, subscribe, turn on the bell notification. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's what I'm supposed to do here. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next week for a little behind the scenes of my plotting and getting ready for Nano, which is literally around the corner. I can't believe it. We're so close. So I will see you guys next week and have a wonderful day and stay magical, everyone. Bye.